All right, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Welcome back to Captain of Industry. Well, last time we placed down some irrigation farms, um, which is basically a step up from the original ones we had. And they're all connected via these pumps right here uh, with some buffers. And this one is still not built. Why is this one not built? Um, we're still waiting on construction parts. Huh. We also built a water tower over here as well, which is still not being built. We do have only eight why are we flatlining on this i'm just wondering if we're not making we're not we don't have any construction parts mark one which is in here and we're not receiving bricks which means we're not receiving dirt which we have got this to keep full i have increased the priority of this and we did just see some dirt going down these little troughs here so they are receiving it like like this just at a very very short pace well small pace so what i'm thinking we do is we get either a new excavation site just to dig dirt we could even potentially get an excavator just to flatten all of this ground here and get all the dirt so we kind of get sent somewhere which if i'm not mistaken we did get an excavator ready at the end of last episode um so i think i might actually do that let's get actually a mine control tower down we're gonna place just you here we're going to edit the terrain and we're just going to make you go like that. Add an excavator. What's this? Is that too big? Is that too big of an area? Let's just do that. Is that better? Mine control tower has no mining designations. Oh, of course. I've not done the, 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 the terrain things. Okay, so let me put this back to what it was. So let me just do that. And then we can go into here. And we're just going to flatten this. And we're just going to get this to go boop just like that like so we're gonna get this to come along here as well and then flatten this out over here also so i am going to assign maybe one truck actually i think one truck will be enough and maybe i should make two more so we have them as well and then i'm going to make sure this excavator is going to be assigned dirt and then I've also called this one Mac Maeve. So thank you for becoming a member, Maeve. And I think it's 32 months now you've been a member. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your love and support. And remember, guys, if you want to be a member, make sure you click that little join button if you are interested. It does support me as a creator and it goes very far. So thank you so much. Hopefully now we are receiving dirt, which means we, we are. We can actually see the little dirt chunks moving along, which means we are going to be making bricks now. And with that means... We should get these up and running again. I think I might want to prioritize. Maybe I should start getting these trees being cut down here so we're not wasting them and just kind of get these out of the way right now. Um, actually, no, we can kind of get them going there. So let's have a look into our research because we don't have any research going. So we have just unlocked, obviously, the conveyor belts. We have got the fuel station. Uh, did I put the fuel station down? I did. So we got the fuel station down over here. We've managed to connect all these up and automated it. Um, we've got the oil coming in. Oil seems to be fine right now, I believe. Yeah, we've got 92% left in storage. Well, in the ground, I should say. We've also unlocked crop rotation, which means if we ever head over to our settings now, we can actually see we can get crops being put in here. So we can get vegetables now if we wanted to, which is not a bad shout, to be honest. So we can do potatoes maybe vegetables and then maybe do a reset and then kind of do that with both of these i'm thinking that's not a bad little shout have i got this connected up to a belt i do so maybe we just kind of keep this as or we can just kind of do this as vegetables and the other one as potatoes maybe we do that so let's just switch this one over to vegetables and then we'll have one vegetables one potatoes and hopefully that gives us some more unity in our little economy over here because of the diversity in food and this one is set to potatoes so if that's the case then i do need to go into my residential and add a new food market and then i need to make this one to be vegetables right if we make this one vegetables that's going to need 25 construction parts and now really what i need to do is just kind of let the time pass on because we do have the water pump now fully constructed so that's that being done with so we have started getting dirt um this one's near enough We're already done they're already bringing items over and this requires quite a bit of that so let's have a look at our map we have our ship over here we also have this oil rig as well uh, and i believe our ship has just completed 
the cargo ship operation over here he went to go and repair the ship so i'm thinking next we kind of just get him to go can he not go over here he didn't have oh, maybe we should return him home maybe he needs fuel i am gonna add another truck to the dirt just because we have the one filling right now and by the time he's gone somewhere they're still waiting so i might as well get this a second truck being filled so we have better yield going to where it needs to go to because by the time he's filled this one has just returned so so i'm gonna go back into the research and i think what i'm gonna start looking at getting is concrete production so i'm gonna get that start being researched we could get the ramps going advanced logistics conveyor lifts and transport balancing we've also got edicts if we want to kind of go for that tree plantation better housing research lab two then we also have these up here right now i'm thinking we maybe start looking into concrete uh, production and then the research labs so let's get the research lab cooking and then let's kind of work on just some additional stuff as these will be the priority so i can start working on this and the research lab whilst the transport balancing conveyor lifts logistics control uh ramp for vehicles and edicts start being researched now all we need to do is just wait for this concrete production to get complete and then we can start on that right so it's been quite a few minutes now precisely around 10 to 15 minutes i've just been kind of watching what everybody's doing like what all these trucks are doing uh, and we're still not keeping up with the demand of the dirt so what i'm thinking is we start looking into grabbing this production here we've just unlocked the cre uh, <laughs> concrete now and I'm thinking maybe we should start looking into getting all of these automated through conveyor belts and start bringing in uh, and make, reducing the trucks going from A to B. So I'm thinking we start looking into this location. It's right next to the iron, of course. And it feels a little bit more in the central area rather than like, for example, a copper driving all the way over here to get to the copper production right there. So we're going to build a brand new layer here. And what we're going to do is we're going to straight start off with the blast furnaces for our iron. And we're basically just going to put these down, let's say here. We're going to make sure we've got enough room. We are starting to mine all of this out. So we could push this back a little bit further, I guess. So we go with the U and then we've got to have two metal casters, right? Two metal casters. So if we go with one and like so what i should have really done i should have gone into build mode no in fact because we already know how to build this um the other stuff we will just because if i put everything into planning mode right now everything will get built at once and <laughs> we're not going to have enough supplies um so next let's start looking into the u-shape conveyors and we're just going to pull you out of here pull you along here and take you into there so I'll just connect them up there just like that and then we also need to do a smoke stack so we're going to grab ourselves where's the wastage wastage is that one smoke stack just there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this we're going to copy it and then we're going to place it literally let's say right about and we're just going to get that playing so these can start being built and then what we're going to look at is we're going to then start looking into storage so we cannot start adding the loose storage here like so i'm just going to go with i think just you there oh i did hold shift and you there and same for this side and then we're just going to grab you put you straight into there you straight into there bam 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 i'm going to make sure that you're set to iron you're set to uh, coal and so on and so forth. So we've got iron in there and then we have coal in there. So now that we've we know we're definitely making uh, the iron now, we then need to kind of get that to go into a storage as a buffer and then from there go into the assemblers. So what I'm thinking about doing is we get a storage container. I'm just going to put this, I think, right here. We're then going to get a conveyor belt from right there. Bring that all the way down here. And connecting to there and then we're just going to bring the use in to join up on this manifold like so and now we've got items going into the storage we're going to assign you to be iron plates and then the next step from here we need to look into the assemblers so we already know iron's going to be going into them so which is going to be you so we want iron plates and then we also want 
Well, we've got multiple options here, right? We have the mechanical parts that need to be made. Then we also have the mechanical parts that need the electronics to make vehicle parts. But we also need iron over here to make construction parts. So we already know. I bet it'd be ideal if we just kind of go with assembler mark twos. So we know we need nine. And these are making 12, 24 per each. So that's 48 iron we're playing with. Oh, so we know we can put down one assembler for you. We also need to get the bricks set up as well, which we do have the bricks pretty close, I guess. Maybe I should just get the belt to go out and go all the way along, or we could set up a new system, but I don't think we need to. I, I guess we can just get a belt from this storage, bring it along, uh, keep it high so the vehicles can get underneath. And then if I need to, I'll make a lower area with a bridge going over so the excavators can get over it. I should really set that to up to be uh, that one, right? Yeah, that one. Then the same for this one as well. We also need to focus on the slag, which we need to do, which I'm hoping we can look into the concrete production for. So we know we need to bring the bricks over. The wood can come over via trucks. Um, we can also... We need to get the electronics over here by trucks as well. I could bring it over by belt if need be, because that's literally there. So we're going to bring another belt over and another belt over. But we already know that we need to make two assembler mark twos to make construction parts so we have 12 being made here then 12 also needs to be consumed in this one for the construction part two so we need to make two of these so i'm going to go into planning mode right now and i'm going to just place these down let's say around here there's no final position so we know that's going to be two mechanical part buildings there then we're also going to need not mechanical parts construction parts and then we're going to need one mechanical part and we're also going to need one vehicle part. That's going to be 9, 18. Then that will be 15. And then that will be 6. So that's, that's, that will leave us with enough uh, iron plates. We'll be left with like about 6-ish, something on the lines of that. So if we put a, another one down, and then if we leave a space for a storage, we can put that there. And then we can put down another assembler. To go here because what this storage is going to be for is going to be for these mechanical parts these mechanical parts are going to get stored in here but then they're automatically going to get put into this one to make the vehicle parts so if that's going to be vehicle parts this one is going to be mechanical parts this one will be the construction parts this one will be construction parts and then we'll have another one to make the tier two ones so then if we do a storage here like this and then if we get an assembler here which will be the tier two construction parts we can then look into getting belts to go from here into this storage we're going to bring this one out to connect up with this one and then that is also going to get put into this one here and then this one's going to be there then we just need to bring the electronics over to go into this assembler to make construction part two. Then we already know that this building is going to need a belt coming out of it to go into this storage. And then a belt coming out of this storage will go into this one for the repair parts. So if we make sure this is set to uh, mechanical parts, we make sure this one is set to um, construction parts, and then we can put down another storage, which will be here and this will be for mechanical construction part I keep getting them mixed up construction parts two and then we'll get a conveyor belt from you uh to you like so at least then i guess we i wish i should really put down a storage on this side for repair parts or vehicle parts and a belt will go from there to there in that one and then i signed you i've assigned you i've signed you you've got your recipe you have your recipe you're good you're good you're good what i need to do now is get the rubber from over here to come out on a belt we're going to raise that up by three and we're just going to bring that as far as we can over here i want to keep it nice and straight and then we're just instantly going to connect that up to that building because that only needs the electronics and construction parts Wait a minute. I'm a spoon. 
that is rubber, not electronic parts. So <laughs> I'm just going to delete all of that because of my bloody spoon. I need to put a storage here and then another assembler here with a conveyor belt coming out of there to go into there. And then this one will be electronic parts. So we need this to be copper and rubber. This needs to be electronic parts. Then I need to get an output from the copper. We're going to bring that up. We're going to bring this around over here. We're going to take it straight over. And then I'm going to connect that into there. And then to be honest, I could have really left this conveyor over here going to the electronics, right? Well, the rubber coming over here, because now I'm just redoing it again. <laughs> and then we can connect that up. The only problem is, for me to keep this nice and straight, I have to go around every tree like this. <laughs> and then I can bring the electronics out of here to then take straight into here. Because right now, this does not need an output to come out. And if I need to, I can just bring that over, even though it might look a little funky. But for now, we don't need to worry about that. As long as we've got electronics, construction parts going into here automatically, we are fine and dandy. So the next thing is I'm going to grab the iron and we're just going to bring that. We're going to bring it up by three and we're just going to bring him over here like so. And then we're just going to take this along here like this. And it needs to go into all three of these. So that can go into there. And then I'm going to get you to go into there. And then you need to go into there. Just like that. I believe this one doesn't need iron. Oh, it does need iron. So you need to go into there. And then next, we need to get the wood and the bricks in here. So I'm going to get the bricks to come out of the storage. We're going to take this up by three as well. And then we'll get this to run alongside the copper like so. But in fact, I'm going to take it back here. And I'm going to make sure that each of these legs line up. So they're not going to be like staggered like they was just doing a minute ago. So now I can just take this along here. And then going to bring it down one layer. And then I'm going to hit... Um, or so it doesn't magnetize. I'm going to take it underneath here. I know it doesn't need to be this far out, but the wood only needs to go into these two. So I'm just going to bring that there. I'm going to then go into, allow it to snap. I'm going to let it go into there like that. Then you into there like that. The next thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at some storage. So I'm just going to do uh, one storage here. And this is just going to be for wood going to make sure that this one keeps full and then we're going to bring the belt out i guess i can just bring it along here like so because that can go straight into there that can go straight into there they can reach these buildings from this side so i don't need to worry about them vehicles coming over this way so just to double check we have the iron coming over we also have the wood and then we also have the bricks coming over from over here as well and then I think that is all fine and dandy. We have the copper coming over for the electronics. We have the rubber coming over for the electronics. Um, and then I guess we could just kind of just see where this now goes. Um, that's another research done. We also have a water for the settlement. We can collect that. Um, I just want to double check. We've got everything here. These buildings are done. Ba 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 ba. I think we're good to kind of get this to get underway. So let's hit play on that. It is going to take a while to build. So maybe, maybe I'll just leave this running now and just wait for this to get built. So we are currently still in building. This has been going now for some time. I don't know what dates we was actually on in the top right hand corner when this started being constructed, but it's been a fair good amount now. Like I'm literally recording this and this is the first time I've ever done this. I'm recording whilst watching a TV show on the other monitor. It's so weird. But it's so chill right now and i'm just basically just allowing it to happen and yeah i could start planning the construction stuff but for some reason i'm way too mesmerized at these just moving around and i really like it so we can kind of see them they keep bringing in all this stuff and they're importing items as well into the actual storage um so these like for example these mechanical parts are ready to go when this actually gets built we are obviously waiting for the construction parts too which is going to take some time because of these uh, machine parts, uh, construction parts, uh, tier ones need making. But they are making them in here because, they, as you can tell, they are bringing the bricks in manually for now just to make them. So these are up and running. Um, 
So as soon as all these belts get up and running, like any second now, this should help these like tremendously. What would be nice as well is if we can potentially upgrade these storages to tier twos. So if we look into our research here, we can already see that storage mark two is right here, which does mean we do need the next research lab. And the research lab requires, oh boy, okay. <laughs> so we need to make lab equipment. And to make lab equipment, we actually need mechanical parts and electronics. We already know we have electronics being made here now. So in here, and then we're also making mechanical parts. And the mechanical parts, we're only making 12. And this research needs 12. So I might have to add another assembler onto the end here and then maybe bring this belt from this electronics to come out here, head over here to get this up automatically as well. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I'm going to put this down. Yes, I'm adding more jobs uh, to my current schedule. We can already see that the trucks are extremely busy right now because they're importing, exporting, trying to get stuff built. But the amount of relief these trucks are going to have when these belts and all of this gets completed soon, it's going to be so much better. I've got to keep an eye on the power as well. We have 1.6 megawatts. I've got to keep an eye on our current power outage. We do have two generators, but when these machines start, you know, up and running, we might tip, it, tip ourselves over, which we're getting very close, to be fair. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this is... Um, mechanical parts oh we're not gonna make be making enough iron how much does this need 15 we are definitely not making enough iron i might have to add another section of this to here to make more iron but we'll see we'll see how it goes um because obviously when storage gets full when everything's running it'll probably run out so let's get that in there let's get that to be mechanical oh, mechanical parts that will then get put into storage here then we're going to need another assembler and that's going to go there then i'll have these mechanical parts going straight into this building which is going to be for these and then the electronics we need to bring over here so i'm just going to grab you out of here i'm just going to take you along here i'm going to take you underneath and we're just going to take you along here just like this just like that so that's that going into there and then that should be the repair parts and then i guess i could research lab i guess here or like so <laughs> just get it directly feeding into that we have got enough stuff here to grab things from here but really i should put a storage here right i guess because this can hold 40 then this building can hold i can't remember how much so maybe i'll just leave it we'll just hit play on that and we'll just see how this whole system moves and bloody grooves. So we can already see our bricks are now moving along the conveyor belt. It is complete, which does mean that that part of the system is ready to go. I'm just wondering why this belt isn't moving here. I'm just wondering if it will start moving when these bricks go into this little splitter here. Oh, they have done. Nice. So they do. That made me a little bit worried and I thought there was a, an issue with this splitter. So I'm just looking as well. It does look like potentially coal is becoming a little empty but i guess this coal will get removed for this system over here right i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to get all of this deleted because if we get all this deleted all the items that's being made here and the buildings it's going to give us so much building materials to complete this over here and this will speed up the whole process. But now I've given myself a bit of dilemma, haven't I? Because nothing is making construction parts too. Over here, we don't have that. So I guess the only thing I could do is get that to be activated as well. And fingers crossed we can get this making them. They're just gonna have to hand deliver it, maybe. I'm also gonna get two vehicles being made just to help out a little bit. So we can see the electronic parts are coming in there, the construction parts. We have plenty of, it's just a matter of the trucks need some speed. But at least we've got these construction parts being made here now, I guess. I need to get this one to be a priority uh, to get made. So if we make this as a construction priority, because this storage is already full with the construction parts and so is 
well, partially the electronics. And we can kind of get this automated, which will help speed up this whole process dramatically. So I'm wondering why they weren't exporting the construction parts, even though I've got it being made here. It's because this was set to auto, and when conveyor belts are automatically attached, it means trucks will automatically not take anything from the building. So I needed to make sure that this was on so the vehicles can export from the vehicle storage. So now the vehicles are actually picking this up and then taking it where it needs to go to build. As we can see, this building is now being built slowly, and this is the priority I need. My only concern is, is that some of these construction parts might go on this belt, which might go here and stop this, uh, and black back this up. So I might need to remove the belts here, then replace them just to get rid of, you know, any items that are on there that shouldn't be. But we've also not got the iron moving that is on its way into the actual machines, which is good. We just now need to get the wood complete. And then that means all the basic material parts well, well, machine parts are going to be uh, automated. And there we have it. I can now disable the construction parts too because this is now up and running here. I just need the electronic parts, which they're kind of exporting. I wonder where they're taking them electronic parts. So it does mean, I guess, I should turn this one back to auto. So I've just had a major warning that we have our maintenance is low. That is because we're not receiving electronics. And me deleting this over, over here was a big mistake because what's happened now is I've totally run out of electronic in stock and I've now had to bring in a um, assembler Mark II here to start working on the electronic stuff, uh, which I'm hoping this building will get done soon. The, com the copper is ready to go. We're just waiting on the rubber to get finished here, but this needs construction part two. So right now, I've been sat here literally just waiting for this to get built. And now we're like, new enough, I think two to three years have new enough gone by. And I've been sat here for about half an hour waiting for all this to get done. I'm just so glad the game allows us to put multiple recipes in here, but it's on personal storage per each recipe that you assign. So all I'm waiting for now is this to literally get complete. We're 21 out of 30 construction part part twos. The belt has now been complete, which means the rubber is now moving towards the location. The cup is here. And now the building has just been complete. Perfect. Which means we can get that up and running, which means I can now disable this recipe right there. Put that back to auto. Then we're also going to remove this one, put that back to auto and then we should be good. We now need to look at power. We are getting signal that the power is pretty low, so we do need to put down another diesel generator. So I'm hopefully I'm just gonna leave that a little minute. Actually, no, let's do it now. Uh, power, let's get another diesel generator. Let's, um, I guess I can just put it here and get ourselves a pipe from there to there, get that built. And then we can get and get that additional 800 power but at least we're automating near enough everything right now we are waiting on this one extra belt to come in which is the electronic line which will then feed the mechanical parts and the research labs which is not a priority right now actually i need to make that into you yeah mechanical parts i've kind of come to realize i need to double the actual production of the electronics just because we are running out of machine parts, but we're also utilizing it for the uh, these and then the research. Electronics is very, very important. So I need to demolish this line here, like so, and then this one, and I need to restructurize the copper here. And I also need to bring out this rubber and take that through there and then i'm going to grab this conveyor belt we need to bring this down we're going to put that to there to there then we're going to put an x a splitter onto you like that and then we should be fine and dandy i'm just gonna get everything being built right there um which does now kind of mean i need to put electronics back in these buildings that wasn't electronics that was a what's that as builder did i put tier oh, i put tier two i need electronics that one because we are getting machines that need maintenance 
and this is a whole problem this is really bad really 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 bad we've got so many things that need maintenance right now my vehicles new enough majority of them like all my trucks we also have the fuel which is only <laughs> the, the the utilization is down <sighs> i've truly truly near enough soft locks me right now we are on the brink of disaster we need this machine to get up and start making electronics the problem was as well that this was near enough full of electronics and getting distributed everywhere but then when this belt got made right here it put all of the electronics onto the belt which meant that there was none actually in here so we have to wait for this belt to actually back up to allow it to get stored again to then get distributed and the machine parts aren't being made right now the repair parts i need this building to get up and running for me to double the production on the electronics which will help me tremendously right now come on come on yes it's built oh no but this belt needs doing oh i need this belt being made i'm gonna allow the vehicles to export from here because right now i totally forgot that i didn't allow it so there's electronics just kind of sitting in here that belt's been complete at least let's remove the electronics from that line now hopefully we can get this maintenance back up and running and get the more of these electronics being made oh my god i put myself in a really really bad position then really bad position and i'm still i'm like look at all the repairs that need happening i need to get this priority made right now i need this fuel if i can get this fuel it means i can stop things from being bloody shutting down which means we'll get more power oh my i need to bring this down on my electronics i need to allow them to export some of this because right now that is my problem i've realized this engine over here this diesel generator needs electronics the uh parts over there need electronics and i've because i had this full it's as soon as this goes above they would have then they will then start exporting but oh my god at least one thing the power is now up and running which means all of these can keep motivated now and keep bloody running i just need to now get this uh, maintenance up and running uh which is what's causing the majority of the problems because as long as we can prioritize fixing the machines so they're not producing at half the output we should be fine but the vehicles are obviously going to take priority because they're going to get here first before vehicles deliver the actual repair or make the repairs happen and to be honest why did i not see this down here boom quick repair 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 unity baby we are now getting bloody repair things up and running but obviously they're getting drained straight away because the vehicles are repairing i'm just wondering right this needs mechanical parts and electronics this needs mechanical parts and electronics so why can i not get a building here for the repairs and then just bring these belts over here so it's almost like getting done why am i not doing this like so that'll be so much easier oh maybe i should get that building being made as well there we go maintenance depot is now automated as well okay so i'm boosting this maintenance right now to give me 210 per month it does mean i'm getting and it needs a bit more demand but right now we're not keeping up with the mechanical parts because everyone needs repairing and everyone's coming here for repairs like vehicles and now seem to be back up and running um it's just we need to get these buildings repaired over here and then we should be good um, it's good to see this number just going back up here slowly but it is dropping but i'm okay with this boost going now for for the cost it's cost well for what it's costing me it's definitely worth it all right i think i think i think and i pray to god we are now back on schedule we've got this still boosting we have this now up to 30 percent vehicles machines we can already see that the machines are backlogging the items and oh boy did i screw up this video this was meant to be a lot more than what it was we had things breaking down and i feel like i've been staring at this goddamn thing we've been trying to make for this past i think what what's my recording time on now my currently re i've been recording for two hours 53 minutes just on this being built and time being passing by and it's just been chaotic absolutely chaotic 
I don't know how this is going to come across in the video or in the edit. I will have to see if it's going to be worth just a video of me talking about this. I don't have a clue. But I guess now that we've got this up and running, I guess, and we'll see how the video turns out. So thank you so much for watching. And don't do what I did and screw up like I did. I should not have removed that whole setup I had there because I was playing around with all of this. It was just, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.